Last up in our collection of exotic graphs is the ridge line plot, which I personally like very much. This is what the plot is going to look like in the end. We have the number of different courses here on the y-axis, right? For example, a course on elections on the EU, on leadership, micro, macro, migration. Um, this is just a random collection of courses across different faculties of our university data, right? And on the, on the x-axis, we have how much students like the course on the scale from zero to six. Zero, hating the course, six, loving the course, right? And of course, um, you know, for each course, we have a different distribution of how much students like them. And this is what is being displayed in this rich line plot. Rich line plots are really lovely when you want to compare distributions for a high number of, of groupings, right? So let's jump into R and see how it's done. You see, actually, this time the, sh the, the code is very short. Um, there is a dedicated package to producing these rich line plots, which I also discovered online. I think somebody tweeted about it. So I, I um, kind of looked it up and, and got into it and, and started really liking it. So install the GG riches package using the install.packages um, function and then load it, right? So we're going to load this package. Um, and then we're going to first clean some data and then feed it into the ggplot. So first we have to um, convert the variable um, of how much students like their courses into a numeric using the as numeric function. And we're going to order the categories of courses. So we order the number of courses by actually how much students like them, right? So later in the graph, they don't appear all over, but they appear sorted, right? And we're going to use the fct underscore reorder function um, to do that. Then we're going to run the ggplot and we are defining um, the axes as always within the aesthetics function. We're going to put like on the bottom and uh, on the y-axis we could we put the different courses. And we're going to let the um, courses vary uh, in, in their look depending um, on well which courses they are. Then, and this is sort of the special part of this particular command that's from the ggrigid uh, package, we're going to use the geom underscore density riches function, which is going to produce these fancy density um, curves, right? There is a dedicated theme for this particular rich line plot in the theme underscore rigid that also comes with the package once you install it. Um, lastly, in this last row here, I'm just going to take away um, the, uh, the the legend uh, position that's floating around there so the third so the graph looks a little bit cleaner. So if we run all of that code, we see not too bad. Um, we see the courses here. We see how much students like them and the distributions. For some reasons, the ordering hasn't really worked out. They're still all over here rather than sorted. And also the colors aren't really what I had in mind. So let's see if we can further uh, figure this out. Let's install an additional package called uh, Veritas that's going to help us um, with the different colors. Okay. So what we're also going to do in this plot now is take out some of the missing values, right, which, we, which we're not interested in. And this time we're going to use the reorder function um, to sort uh, the courses by how much students like them. Uh, the only new element here is adding the scale underscore filveritis function to um, tell R to use a particular color, uh, color code. Something we've done already in the past is adding labels, uh, X and Y uh, scale labels, and also a title. And the rest pretty much is the same. Um, some spacing here in the panel and some stripping away some text. That's it. Let's run that. And we see now that it worked out. All the curves, the density plots are now sorted by how much students like them. And apparently they like the least the uh, courses on education, discourse and inequality. And the courses that they like most are in institutions, EU, elections, international organizations, and so forth. Apparently, people like political science courses. 
All right, this looks really lovely. This is how you do a rich plot. Again, this is nothing you can just um, uh, find out by yourself, right? It, it, I also went online to figure out how to really customize this rich plot, um, saw it on Twitter, and then and then sort of um, figured out how others did it and incorporated it in, in, into the course here. So um, if you have an idea for, a, for a, a nice looking plot, go search online and you, I'm sure you'll find somebody who's developed something really nice that fits your needs. And then it's just a matter of customizing it so um, you'll get it into the particular look that you, that you want.